Welcome to Automation of the Week. My name is Brian Hayes, and this week I'm going to show you how to send an email with an attachment dynamically using Flow. We've gotten this question a few times. We have some viewers who know how to send an email attachment when it's part of a template in Salesforce. That's pretty straightforward. You create your template, you attach your file, and then whenever you send that template, the file goes along with it. But there's a different use case where somebody wants to send an email and wants to dynamically send an attachment. So that file is gonna be different each time that email is sent. An example of this might be an invoice that's attached to an account or a report that's attached to an opportunity. Perhaps at a certain point, you want your flow to get that file from the opportunity record and then attach it to an email that's going out to the opportunity owner or to a contact that's related to the opportunity, et cetera. The good thing is we can actually do this without using custom code. All we need is to install a couple free packages from unofficial SF. The primary package that we're gonna to use to accomplish this is called Send Better Email. And if you search for Send Better Email and Salesforce, it's gonna take you to this page where it explains all the different things you can do with this Send Better Email action within Flow. It's great. There's a lot of different use cases for this tool. I'm not gonna go through all of them today. Today, I'm just gonna show you how you can use it to send that specific document as an attachment. If you like this video and you wanna see some additional tutorials on send better email, let me know in the comments. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is install this action. Once you come to this page, you can scroll down to the bottom and you'll find the instructions for installation. We've got a red box here. And what this is saying is that before we can install this action, we need to install two other packages. One is the flow actions base pack and the other one is the flow screen components base pack. And there's a link that takes you right to the spot to install them. Under install here, we can see we have flow actions base pack and you've got two different links, one for a production org and one for a sandbox org. Same thing with the flow screen components base pack right down here. Go ahead and click whichever link is appropriate for you and follow the steps to install it into your org. Once those two base packs have been installed, you can hit the back button and then go to the link to install the send better email action. And at the top here, we have a link for production and a link for sandbox. It may take a few minutes for those three different packages to finish installing, but once it's done, you can then come down to flows in the setup area and create a new flow. For my example, I'm gonna create a flow that triggers when an opportunity is moved into the negotiation stage. I'm then going to send an email with an attachment that we get from that opportunity. So I'm gonna start by creating a record triggered flow, but you could use this action in screen flows as well. For my object, I'll choose opportunity and I'll set the entry conditions to be stage name equals proposal slash price quote. And I only want this to run when the record is updated to meet the condition requirements. I don't want this to send an email every time that record is edited and happens to be in the proposal slash price quote stage and then click done. And now we can add an action. So hit the plus sign, then click action and search for send better email. Here we've got a couple options. The one that I'm interested in is just the standard send better email action. Select that. Let's first give this a name. So I'll say send email with attachment. And then we've got some options. So this is one thing about the send better email action is it has a lot of different configuration options. Definitely refer to the documentation on unofficial SF to help you help guide you through that. Under set addressees, we can set a two, a CC and a BCC for this email. So under two, I'm just gonna write in hey at rotive.io and hit confirm. And you can see that it's accepted that right at the top here, because now it says two, and then in parentheses, it says hey at rotive.io. But you could also use string variables. We could use a get to pull in an email address that's related to the opportunity or the owner of the opportunity. Lots of options there. Same thing with CC and BCC. For our subject, I'm just going to write this is an email with an attachment. For the HTML body, I'm gonna write in hello there. And then if we scroll down a bit further, we can show the record of this email going out in Salesforce. We could have this show up as a task or an email record associated with say a contact or an account or the opportunity record that we have this related to. We can also include this in a thread using message ID where you've got you know, multiple messages that are threaded together. And then finally, we get to attachments here. So what this is looking for is a content document link. Files within Salesforce have the file itself, and then there is this other record called a content document link, and then there is whatever record that file is attached to. 
So that content document link attaches our, say, account record to our file record. And that way you can have one file that is attached to multiple different records within Salesforce. So maybe it's a quote that's a PDF that's attached to an opportunity, and then there's a content document link that attaches that to an account and to a contact, so on and so forth. So what we need in order to send an email with an attachment is our content document link record. To get that, we need to have a get step in our flow. So click done for now, click the plus sign above our apex action, and then scroll down to get records. We'll call this get file. And for our object, we're not looking for the file object, we're looking for the content document link object. We want that connector between the file and our record. For our field here, we've got a few. The most important one is this linked entity ID. This is the ID of whatever record our file is associated with. So we want a file that's related to our opportunity. So the linked entity ID should be equal to our opportunities record ID. So you can come down to the global variable on the right hand side and find the ID of that opportunity. So the next thing I want to do is I want to change this from getting only the first record to all records. Maybe there's just one file, maybe there's three files associated with that opportunity. I want to be able to get all of them and send them as attachments. We can store all the fields automatically and then click done. Come back to your send better email action and then you can scroll down and where it says attach with content document links, we now have a reference to our, our get step right here, get file. Go ahead and select that output and then click done and hit save. I'm going to call this opportunity send email with file. Now let's test this. Take a look at this opportunity record I have, and you can see that I've got a file. I have this image of a Quokka attached to it. So now let's test that flow and see if our email goes out. Come back to the flow, click debug. I'm gonna skip the start conditions for this test because the opportunity is currently not in the right stage for my trigger, but that doesn't really matter. I'm not worried about testing that. And then click run. We can see we went through the different steps, no errors, so that's great. On the right-hand side, you can expand the details of the send better email action. We can see you know, some parameters of that email. Let me zoom in here for you. You can see that it did get a content document link, which is great. The HTML body just said hello there. It sent an email to hey at rotive.io with a subject of this is an email with an attachment. That all looks pretty good to me. So let's hit activate, and then we can test it in this developer environment when I actually update the opportunity record. I'm going to come to my open opportunity, go to proposal slash price quote, and hit save. That should trigger our flow now. And if you look in Gmail, here's our email. It says this, this is an email with an attachment. It's coming from our demo environment. The body says hello there, and there's our attachment with our Quokka. There are plenty of great use cases for this functionality. And thankfully, the send better email Apex action is what really makes this possible without having to use code. So if you've got files attached to opportunities or cases and you want to be able to easily send those automatically through Flow, you now can. The trick is you need to use the content document link record instead of the file itself if you're going to be sending this out through Flow. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit like and click subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.